Happy Thursday. Today is May 14th, 2020. You need your anthology and open it up to page 260. 260. Building Bridges. At the top of the page, it says genre, non-fiction. What does non-fiction mean? That's right. It means that we're going to read about real facts and information. This is not a made-up story. These, this is all true. Our essential question for this week, how do things get built? Read about different kinds of bridges. This is called building bridges. What kinds of bridges are there? How are they built? On page 261, follow along. People build bridges to get from one point to another. Bridges go across water or land. They can be miles long or only a few feet. Let's look at some of the world's most interesting bridges. This bridge in France goes across a wide valley. It is the highest car bridge in the world. It's beautiful. Turn the page. The Sunshine Skyway Bridge in Florida stretches for four miles. This is a cable stayed bridge. Sturdy wires help this bridge stay up. The wires are joined at tall towers so they don't fall. This bridge is made of steel and concrete. Page 263. This bridge is more than 2,000 years old. Wow. An arch bridge is like an upside down U. This bridge has two big arches for boats to go through. The arches are the same size which helps balance the bridge. This bridge in Italy is made of brick, so it is really sturdy. This bridge is made of steel. The Firth of Forth Bridge in Scotland is a truss bridge. It is built above a river. Do you see the triangles? See, there's a triangle here, there's a triangle here, there's triangles here. The roadway needs to be supported. The triangle tubes support it. The triangles join each section of the bridge. So do you see the up and down, the triangles up and down? Page 265. Cars pay a toll or money to cross the Golden Gate Bridge in California. This suspension bridge has cables. The cables are supported by towers. So here are the cables and there's the tower. Why is the bridge painted a bright color? The builders knew it must stand out in the fog. So they avoided colors like gray and painted it joyful orange. The Golden Gate Bridge is a famous symbol of the United States. The bridge is flat so that people can cross. Some bridges are one of a kind. Rolling Bridge is in London, England. What happens when a boat comes toward the bridge? 
the bridge rises up and curls into a circle. Then the boat can pass. There are many kinds of bridges. What kind of bridge can you think up? So see how this bridge is flat? And then when a boat comes, when a boat passes, the bridge begins to move. Then the bridge becomes a circle. So it started here. It's flat so people can walk across it. And then it rolls up to get out of the way so a boat can pass. Very interesting. Hmm. So you have a page that I sent you that looks like this. And we are going to use our book and we are going to fill this out. Um, I was told that when I fill these out, I'm not writing large enough. So I'm not going to use the paper. I'm going to write it on here. So we have the cause. And you have two lines for each one. And the effect. I will try to make sure I do not write out of the space for you that you can see. Okay. The cause. So I want you to turn back to page 262. The first one we're going to talk about, the first bridge, is a cable stayed bridge. So when you look at page 262, the Sunshine Skyway Bridge in Florida stretches for four miles. This is a cable stayed bridge. Sturdy wires help this bridge stay up. The wires are joined at tall towers so they don't fall. So why do we have a cable stayed bridge? Why does it have wires? So you have two lines. If you stay on the lines like I do, you can get those three words, a cable stayed bridge has wires. A cable stayed bridge has wires. Why does it have wires? Because it has wires, what happens? The bridge stays up. One thing causes, whoops, sorry. That's a G. The bridge stays up. So one thing causes something else to happen. So because this, the cable stayed bridge has wires, the bridge stays up. Why does the bridge stay up? The bridge stays up because it has wires. Does that make sense? It's how one thing affects something else. The cause is what happens. The effect is what happens because of the cause. So a cable stayed bridge has wires. The effect is the bridge stays up. If I start to go too fast for you, you can pause and catch up and then play it again and come back to us. So don't worry, because you will have this. I will leave that one up and I'll start the next one. Okay. Look at the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco on page 265. 
They did something unique with this bridge. What was unique with this bridge? Cars pay a toll or money to cross the Golden Gate Bridge in California. This suspension bridge has cables. The cables are supported by towers. Why is the bridge painted a bright color? The builders knew it would stand out in the fog, so they avoided colors like gray and painted it joyful orange. So this is different. So on your paper, go down to the next cause. So you see on this paper, you have three. We did the first one was a cable stayed bridge. Now we're in the middle one, okay? And you're gonna say the bridge, Look, Mrs. Bedard almost spelled it incorrectly. The bridge is painted brightly. It's a sentence. I'm making sure to write sentences, so I begin with capitals and I end with punctuation. The bridge is painted brightly. And what happens because the bridge is painted brightly? Well, it stands out. Making sure I don't run out off the paper. It stands out in the fog. One thing causes something else to happen. The bridge is painted brightly, so it stands out in the fog. It stands out in the fog, why? Because it is painted brightly. That's how one thing causes something else to happen. Something happened because of something else. Make sense? So if, if you need time to write this, Pause the video. It'll stay on your screen and you can copy it and then start again. Okay? I'm going to move down to the last one. And one of the things I want you to notice is we've talked about cause and effect before. We're going to do more of it next week. Um, but I wanted you to see how you can use a story to find cause and effect relationships, okay? Well, the most interesting bridge of all is on page 266, the rolling bridge. And what does the rolling bridge do? It curls up. So the rolling bridge curls up. Well, it does that for a reason. Why does it do that? When it does that, something can happen. When the bridge curls up, what happens? The boat can pass. The boat can pass. So what happened? The rolling bridge curls up. Because the rolling bridge curls up, the boat can pass. So because of this, this happens. This happened, why? Because of this. The boat can pass. Why can the boat pass? Because the rolling bridge curls up. This is a way to organize our information. So rather than saying, oh, well, we can see cause and effect relationships in our story, we actually put it in an organized manner. This is a graphic organizer for cause and effect to show how one thing causes something else to happen. And something happens because something helped it.
and that's the relationship of cause and effect. If I was going too fast, I hope you paused and took your time and completed it. This is something we're going to do again, so make sure you understand the relationship of cause and effect. One thing helps something else. I'll see you in a little bit for math.